Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews. I'm your host, Matt Spies, and today we are looking at Creature from the Black Lagoon, released in 1954. Creature from the Black Lagoon stars Richard Carlson, Julia Adams, Richard Denning, Antonio Marino, Nestor Peava, Whit Bissell, Ben Chapman, and Rico Browning. Creature from the Black Lagoon was directed by Jack Arnold. Now, Creature from the Black Lagoon was influential in a number of different ways. Number one, no film had ever, with a creature in it like this, had ever had a design so realistic and so well done. It completely redefined how creatures were created in movies. Before this, creatures in films like these were cheap suits and made you more liable to laugh at the creature in the film than look at it in, in awe or in fear. The creature changed that. And most of that was due to Millicent Patrick, the creator of the designs for the Gill Man in the film. Now, she was a Disney animator, and she did these excellent designs for the creature, in which effects master Bud Westmore would end up using to create the final costume. And what a costume it is. It is so believable and so realistic. And the whole claw, the claws that, that he has, I mean, he can grab someone by the head and just rip, and you see in the movie where he just tears their, their face with these claws on his hands. He is such a deadly and dangerous creature. But in the story, he is not intending to hurt anyone. People are coming into his territory, invading his domain, and he's just defending himself. Not only that, but the Gill Man was played by two separate actors, and both of them played the character in such an excellent way. When he's on land, he is played by Ben Chapman, and Ben Chapman does the whole breathing thing with the mouth opening and closing, and because... I mean, he, this is a water creature. When he's on land, he's going to be breathing a little bit differently than the way he is when he's underwater. And then when he's underwater, the character is played by Rico Browning, a expert swimmer. Rico Browning, when he was shooting the underwater sequences, he could stay underwater and hold his breath while shooting the scenes for up to four minutes. That's how adapt he was at being underwater. Um, but the costuming was so constrictive on both of them. It was a commitment to the film that they both played the characters as good as they did under the conditions that they had to suffer. Even though the creature is beautiful, it is a masterpiece of cinema with effects work by both the design by Millicent and the costume by Bud Westmore. Um, <laughs> it was apparently a pain to have to wear and have to endure. But thank God these two men did such an excellent job playing this creature both underwater and on land. Because this this 
character, the Gill Man, has become the most uh, one of the most iconic, if, if not as iconic as Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, the Mummy, um, and and the Wolfman. It is. And I'm so happy for that because I love the creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, not only is the creature's effects good, but Jack Arnold's direction of this, the way he puts the sequences together, it is a masterpiece as far as the way that this put thing is put together. The acting in it is well done all around. You have Richard Carlson as Dr. David Reed. He is really believable and likable in his role, as he always was. Richard Carlson was a really good actor. I liked him. Beautiful Julia Adams plays Kay Lawrence in here, and she has the incredible sequence. But it's not all her, where she swims underwater and the creature kind of falls in love with her when she's swimming in the water. It's a professional swimmer doing the doing most of that sequence and not the real um, Julie Adams, but they did a great job of putting the double in there and, and it just works so well. It just shows what a great director Jack Arnold was that he was able to put this all together and, and make it believable. You never once look at that scene and think about that that's not Julie Adams in that sequence. Out of the four doctors in this film, I mean, the coolest one is, of course, Richard Denning. I mean, he's just a cool freaking actor. Um, he was great in anything he was in. But, um, you know, you have, you have Richard Carlson's doctor, David Reed, is, is the more nerdy-ish character, but he's still got a little bit of a coolness factor to him as well, just not as cool as Richard Denning. And then you have Antonio Marino playing Dr. Carl Maya, and he's just more the expert in the location where they're at, um, more than the other three. And then, of course, you have Whit Bissell playing Dr. Edwin Thompson. And uh, out of them all, you know, the, the coolest one, of course, is is... Richard Denning. And the other great uh, performance in this film is Nestor Payava as, as Captain Lucas. I mean, he is such a likable and fun character in here. And uh, he kind of feels like he's the precursor to what eventually became the Sala character in Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones. And the last crusade. I'll make the decisions around here. Oh, but you are wrong, Mr. Williams. On the water, the Capitão makes the decisions. We will do as you say. You will listen to me. You wish to say something, mister? Eh? Asps. Very dangerous. You go first. He really is a, a an enjoyable, fun character while he's on screen and everything. Um, and, you know, Nestor plays him really cool in a cool way. Um, he's very likable. But, yeah, this movie is one of the best ever from the Universal Monsters um, films. And... I love this film. My rating for The Creature from the Black Lagoon from 1954. I give this film a 10.0 out of 10. This movie is gold and it is perfect in every single way in my opinion. But, what do you think? 
Do you agree with my review? What do you think of Creature from the Black Lagoon? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because it really does help my channel out a lot. But as I said, this is not the end of this Universal Monsters review series. So, I hope you're ready for some more. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you in the next one.